Welcome. This eight minute video will give you a brief overview of Dask, a parallel computing library for Python. Dask parallelizes many libraries in the Python ecosystem, like NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-learn, and many others. Dask allows them to scale either on your laptop with multi-core and large than memory parallelism, or on large distributed clusters on the cloud or otherwise, all while providing a consistent user experience that stays true to the existing Python community of projects. Libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-learn are popular today because they combine high-level, usable, and flexible APIs with high-performance implementations. However, these libraries were not originally designed to scale beyond a single CPU or to data that doesn't fit in memory. This often results in memory errors or switching libraries when you run into larger data sets. This is what Dask can help fix. If you replace the NumPy library with Dask Array, which uses NumPy under the hood, then everything works well. Dask Array can use NumPy and scale it out to multi-core machines or large distributed clusters. By integrating with existing libraries, Dask enables developers and data scientists to easily transition from traditional single machine workflows to parallel and distributed computing without learning new frameworks or rewriting much code. This can be done anywhere we write Python, including other libraries, automated scripts, or Jupyter Notebooks like this one, where we read in some CSV data from the cloud into a distributed Pandas data frame. The Dask framework provides everything we need to scale out to distributed systems in an effective way. As we've seen, it provides compatible APIs to what we're familiar with before. It also provides access to cloud data stores or HDFS. It also provides ways to launch Dask on common deployment systems like Kubernetes or Yarn or Slurm or PBS. This helps us manage many workers in the cloud or elsewhere. These workers can perform some distributed computation, which we can see here, which Dask exposes to us with visible and interactive dashboards, helping us understand what our computation does. All of these systems combine to create a native and cohesive environment that enables Python users to scale their computation comfortably onto distributed hardware without needing significant expertise in distributed systems. As a result of this cohesive experience, Dask has become a platform to build scalable computing into a broad variety of applications. Dask is flexible and so can parallelize many different kinds of workflows, both in traditional big data business computing space and also outside in many novel applications. Let's see a few examples. We've already seen Dask data frame which organizes many pandas data frames in parallel for traditional tabular computing. And also Dask Array, which organizes many NumPy arrays into a grid to parallelize multidimensional computing, such as we often see in biomedical applications, simulation output, energy, and the geosciences. Dask also tightly integrates with Scikit-learn through their parallel computing library, Joblib. Many scikit-learn models are already designed for parallelism on a single machine and can hand off this control to Dask if it is installed. In all of these cases, Dask is tightly integrated with the core library, both in terms of user API, the actual code that is run, and also the communities behind the projects. The core maintainers of NumPy, Pandas, and scikit-learn are also the core maintainers of Dask. Dask is used in other situations as well. For example, the X-Array project is commonly used in Earth system science. It uses Dask for scalability, but defines its own API that closely matches the needs of that community. They were able to plug in Dask internally to handle scalability while making different choices that made sense for them and their users. Similarly, the Airflow developers when used Dask when they made a successor project, Prefect, for data flow automation. Again, they wanted to add in parallel execution to a framework that they were building, 
and Dask was a good fit. The NVIDIA RAPIDS project for GPU accelerated data science uses Dask under the hood for distributed execution, networking, load balancing, or relying on their own GPU code for on-node computing. Again, Dask is able to fit some of their needs while giving them the space to build in their own systems. Finally, many people use just the internals of Dask, a sophisticated dynamic task scheduler to build out completely custom computations. This is very common in research or in algorithmic fields like finance. In all of these cases, Dask makes it easy to deploy on distributed hardware, connecting data science users to compute resources. Technically, Dask is a centrally managed distributed service with distributed execution and storage with the workers and peer-to-peer -peer communication. It is easy to deploy on any major resource manager today including Kubernetes or other common cloud APIs, Yarn for older Hadoop Spark systems, or any of the common HPC job queuing systems like PBS, LSF, Slurm, or SGE. Dask is also trivial to install and use on your local machine on a laptop. It requires no setup to use and is easy to install with Conda or PIP. Dask even comes pre-installed with Anaconda by default, so it's quite likely that you have it already. You can start with your laptop, and then when you're ready, easily transition to your institution's hardware using one of the resource managers mentioned above, alongside other services that you might be using in your data science experience. Finally, it's worth mentioning that Dask, like most of the Python data science ecosystem, is an open source and community governed project fiscally sponsored by NumFocus with an active developer and maintenance community. We encourage you to get involved if you would like to learn more, you should visit our website at dask.org or view examples at examples.dask.org or see additional videos about Dask on our YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. On behalf of the entire Dask community, we sincerely hope that this project helps you in your work.